how the match has started. We see water on one side. We see some uh, light on the other side. Let's see what the final scores are. Titus, Dwayne, Helena, all 120. We see Mashery, uh, Finna, and uh, Jaden for this side. Okay. We're going to get ourselves started. What are the vision cards for both sides? We're going to see Mask of Deceit, uh, Black Rose, and I'm assuming it is the Omega again on Dwayne. Yes, that is. We're going to see a nice little balance coming through. And on the light side, what are we seeing over here? Carbuncle, Bahamut, and the Great Stag. Good balanced as well. Uh, the Carbuncle is going to be nice for the Mastery to be able to use the Rejuvenation. Um, but for everything else right now, the Missile Resistance is... Uh, both of them having Missile Resistance. But Missile Resistance definitely being a lot stronger for Captain's side uh, than it is over for Diamond's side. I really hope that... Uh, I think that we're getting locked out again. I think that we're getting locked out again. So you know what? I will exit. I apologize, guys. Sometimes the spectator uh, the spectator mode is not perfect. It is definitely not perfect, but it is better than nothing right now. Let's get back into this room as fast as we can so we don't miss any of this action. Because right now, that light side team is going to be pumping out the numbers real quick. Especially against that dark team. Helena and Dwayne. Dwayne does not have very good missile resistance as it stands. So good we are in. I did not miss too much. I believe we have a nightly, uh, nightly blessing. And we have a Hastiga coming out soon. Yeah, Dwayne as it stands right now does not have... Okay, 15. Not too bad. Very high magic resistance. But magic resistance is only going to help against Mashery as it stands. Uh, you need that missile and spirit to be able to resist against uh, this uh, this light team over here. Zidane, how you doing? And I'm done with Halloween. I wish you the... Godspeed, Mako. Godspeed on getting all those mind spheres. Yeah, we're going to see a gunner sub job on the Finna. Finna's AI is also very frustrating to deal with sometimes. If Finna... Ooh. Finna's AI, if she can either kill someone or buff, she will buff right in another unit's face, which can be a big pain in the butt. Both teams deciding to go with the Mashery TMR, which is no surprise Mashery TMR being one of the best PvP TMRs in the game, as it gives those three actions, not three turns shield buffs. So they have to hit you three times to really break down that 35% magic and physical damage reduction. Uh, Helena trying to speed up and get right in the face because if she can hit that Tabernacle's Rose and make a connection, um, they, they, they're, they're going to be in for a little bit of a world of hurt um, in terms of the damage. Tabernacle's Rose, is, those that have done any sort of auto battle knows how strong uh, Black, uh, Black Rose Helena is in those situations. But definitely need to try and get there uh, before they just get sniped down in the distance between this Finna and this Jaden. Because they, they do, uh, Jaden does Jaden things and he does crazy amounts of damage. Alright, the Dwayne is currently rocking with a move 4. Gotta keep that distance away from each other and try and not instantly die. It's true, any th well, 3 and 4 hits can indeed break through it and help remove it all in one single move. Um, doesn't it, but it's still you want to try and do a little bit of higher damage moves. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely getting through that shield is an important uh, an important part. It's hard to one shot someone through those shields. Possible, always possible, just hard. Right, where are we gonna go? Because you don't want to clump up too much. Because if you clump up, you're gonna get a good sparkle shower and a good uh, magi blast. And it's gonna, it's gonna hurt. Oh, okay, okay. We're gonna see a dragoon, uh, dragoon sub from the Dwayne to try and be invulnerable as he's jumping. Both have their benefits, of course. You want to have as try and have as much balance uh, as you can in the game, trying to have as much flexibility. But the dragoon sub jump is because uh, he shouldn't be able to actually hit anything. But right now, jumping, uh, just just jumping away. And guess what? If, he, if he's in the air, you can't hit him. You can't hit something that's not there. So uh, a little bit of defensive jump. Since he's used the Revitalize, he's going to have enough AP to kind of do whatever he wants, whenever he wants. So it's uh, definitely a smart, a fun call. Being able to time those jumps. Pushed it far enough out of range that it wouldn't be able to lap too much. Are we going to go with a Carbuncle... Uh, Carbuncle's Crystal, Ruby, 
Ruby, I don't, I don't remember the name of the, the vision card ability from the Carbuncle card. Uh, but it does give that CT up. Again, we talked about that earlier, being able to play around, because the, the really good CT up abilities are currently banned from this tournament. Um, but all the other ones, they're, they're, they're free game. I only banned the big three. What are we going to see coming here from the Helena? What are we going to be seeing from here? Is the Helena going to be staying back and trying to heal a little bit more? Or are we going to try and get her a little bit closer? Instead, we're staying back. The Dark Veil. Dark Veil coming out from Mastery, getting that uh, that darkness resistance up. As light and darkness are opposites to each other. But now they have the plus 15 darkness rather than the minus 10 that they share with each other. Light is weak to dark and dark is weak to light. Taunting Blades, removing off a little bit of that barrier from the Fena. And you can see here the jump is about to land from the Dwayne. The jump is about to land from the Dwayne. Helena gets her turn. Most likely going to move up a little bit. Try and get some cures up on the Titus so he's nice and healthy. But then let's see what Finna does. Is Finna going to heal or is she going to respond with a nice sparkle shower of herself? Oh, you're good, Zidane. Don't worry. Zidane, I'm doing well. Thank you very much for asking. Sorry, I'm just a little distracted with trying to shout cast and uh, making sure everything in the tournament is getting talked about. But uh, I appreciate the uh, I appreciate you coming by, Zidane. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of your day. Alright, what are we going to see here from the Finney? Are we going to go for the heal or are we going to go for the sparkle shower? Hmm. Options, options, options. We're going to go with the sparkle shower instead with the accuracy down. Now we're going to try and, yes, run into the corner. How far can the Dwayne get in there with his move four, I believe? So he's able to get up in, get a little bit of range. The mastery is in a lit, not not too much trouble, I would say, um, but definitely going to be. Uh, I don't know the range of disarm for Dwayne. I don't know the range of the disarm for Dwayne. Eternal darkness. I believe that one was it. It was unable to land. Uh, resistance effects. No, it does not have it. Down she goes. Tease is down for the count. And now we have... Okay, Jaden's basically going back to back. Is he going to be enough? I don't believe... Ooh. Bringing out the minigun. Jaden with that limit break here. Not enough to... Not enough to kill. But since it's now... It's, it's chain... He's, he's got a lot of chains coming through. I don't know... If he's going to be able to survive the Sparkle Shower that's coming out from the Finna next. Because this heal will probably only heal for about 3k like the last one did. And my guess is that this Sparkle Shower is going to hit for like 6 or 7k. That is my current guess on the damage that's about to be pumped out from this Finna. 9k. I, I even more underestimated it. Ah, the, the, the synergy between these two is very, very strong for this, uh, is, is very, very strong for these two. Our March of the Stag. Each unit, Mastery, Finna, and Jaden, still all getting a full turn before the Finna, uh, before the Helena is going to get a turn to act. We're going to be going for a Cure, Ruby Regeneration. I'm oh, just going for the straight CT up. We're going to see a little bit of movement up into a jamming thrust, into a sparkle shower as well. Or are we just going to go for some range into range? Let's see. I don't I don't picture the Helena surviving. No, the sparkle shower should finish off the Helena as it stands right now. Finna plus Jaden is very, very strong. Sparkle shower... Ah, it was, it was actually, it was a little bit closer. Uh, but Diamond winning that one over Captain with the Mono Light team. So the Mashery, Jaden, and Finna are now banned and removed uh, from Di uh, from Diamond's pool. Ew, I know, Mako. I know, but we, we, we stick to our, our feature match. We want to see it till it's done. Ah, okay. We're going to see Titus, Freddy, and Jaden. Very interesting. 
Very, very interesting. So we got the missile chaining coming between the two of them. Uh, T disc going to be coming for a little bit more tankiness. Uh, still only 6.3k, so he's losing a little bit of HP. Uh, but the Haska, we're going to see if the Haska is going to be enough. Between March of the Steg giving 20% agility and Haska um, giving some quick turns. We have some mono wind on this side. Uh, is everyone 120? No, Tifa is only 115. Uh, what are the cards are we going to be running? Uh, Near Tower of Promise and Black Rose of the Battlefield coming through. Black Rose of the Battlefield being used on Halloween Leela. Tifa having her own card and 2B having her own card as well. Um, Mastery TMR coming out from 2B first. Let's see what all the TMRs are going to be coming through for these ones. I'm excited. I was, I was hoping to see the Mono Win team at some point this tournament. So I'm glad we're, uh, glad we're coming across it. Courage coming up, getting that extra little bit of survivability. So we've seen one TMR. This is most likely going to be a Haska coming through for Titus. What is Halloween Leela going to be coming out? I know, we're we so close to all the fun numbers. 6869, six, so close, but yet so far. Are we going to be seeing a Revitalize? We are indeed going to be seeing the Revitalize coming out from Frederica over here. Being to able to try and chain together those barrages. Um, but we're going to see, is, is the accuracy going to be enough to be able to pierce through the evasiveness of Mono Winds? March of the Stay getting that agility up and magic up for, uh, for Jaden. And then moving over so we can get that three-person Haska and trying to just lap and chain up with all that missile. So there's going to be a lot of ground to cover as it stands right now. Um, I'm definitely more worried for the Jaden uh, in terms of damage. I'm, I'm more worried about the Jaden than I am for the Freddy. I've not checked to see what the vision cards are. So we're going Secrets of the Heart, uh, Missile Attack. So at least we have some Secrets of the Heart. So that extra 35% uh, luck is going to help them hopefully try and negate a bit of the luck up from all of the wind vision cards coming through. And then the final one, I believe, was... Yeah, it was Black Rose. So Fred's Dream. Fred's Dream on Freddy. Uh... The Black Rose on Jaden and the Secrets of the Heart on Titus. So they're not getting a lot of elemental bonuses between the three of them, um, but it still should be a very, very solid team. Um, I, I, they're, they're definitely going to have to try and kill. Um, definitely going to have to try and kill Diamond's team before they get too close, though, because um, Tifa and Two be up close in here. Um, it, I think Jaden's going to be the key to victory. Uh, for Captain C. But we will see. The Knight's Blessing coming out. So they have that extra little bit of barrier. Trying to survive those hits. Um, I'm going to guess that the uh, Jaden is also on Red Mage sub. So if he does need to Cura. He does have some healing in his back pocket. Uh, but if Jaden's healing right now. Against this upcoming win team. They have uh, they have other, other problems. As it stands. Uh, concentration. Hmm. With the strike damage up, I wonder is Tubi going to be on Pugilist or is she going to be on Samurai? Uh, we will see depending on if she uses uh, Illusion or if she uses Iron Body Stance. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm I'm still excited for the Winter. Oh, using Garval's TMR here to try and pierce through that magic resistance penetration. Going for the magic resist penetration. Garval, TMR, very good. Iron body stance, so it is on Pugilist. So we're gonna be running that double striking, ladies. They're gonna be uh they're gonna be throwing those fists and those punches. What resistances are we looking like over here? I believe we saw negatives for the for the Jaden. Uh, neutral for the Fred. And over on the Titus here, plus fives. Again, so they're not gonna be too resistant in terms of the fist and ladies. I can turn up the volume ever so slightly. Barrage coming through. Enough to pierce through. En enough to get through the evasion. Still not enough to do a crazy amount of damage. Uh, but as you can see, the March of the Stag plus the Haste is getting that crazy CT accumulation for the Freddy that is able to use her barrage, get a turn again, and so they're going to be chaining through. So most likely, uh, if we can get an, an earring shot, uh, coming through from the Jaden to be able to break the guts 
uh, from the Tifa, and then a sharp shot should be able to close the deal afterwards, as it has a 100% accuracy, which is very convenient against these evasion teams. Uh, I don't know if the height uh, elevation, and it is around the corner, so I don't know if the Jaden will even be able to see the golden mag shots. Oh, not enough! Not enough to do damage. I was expecting the Jaden to do a bit more damage. I thought if that was going to hit, that that was going to finish off the uh, the Tifa. Impressive durability. Very, very impressive durability there from her. But I mean, but Tifus right now staying back, acting as a little bit of a uh, acting as a good supporter. I've been taken by that truth, Zalk. Did you, uh, Zalk? Did you win or did uh, did you win or did Woody win that one? Oh, going with the poison. So if not going for the sharp shots, not going for the sharp shots, um, clearly means that he had enough faith in his accuracy right there to just not care about this mono wins team evasion. Hmm. The poison's going to be a little bit of a problem. Is it going to be enough to heal? I think it should be enough to heal, but then the Jaden is still going to get a turn. Kill it. The guts is going to go off. Again, ac accuracy can always be a thing. Accuracy can always be an issue. Zalk, you lost the first one to Woody. So Woody is up one nothing to Zalk. Um, we will see how this one goes. If Captain can win this one, we're going to go to a best of three on the tiebreaker as well. But if Diamond wins this one, then it's going to be 2-0 for Diamond to advancing to the finals. Golden Mag Shots. Tifa does not get the dodge off, but the, cur the Courage does kick in. Uh, but as it stands right now, yeah, just re-updating that haste and just letting the laps happen. Gunner's just shooting from the distance. Tifa's going to have to do some sort of damage because at the end of her turn, almost guaranteed you you already had both your matches Zalk wow you already had both your matches those are quick the one that we watched against the uh, the double the double earth team was that match one or match two all right Tifa what are we gonna see here how much damage are you going to be able to pull off because right now Jaden is a little bit low on the AP, but Titus is uh, pretty healthy, as well as the revitalized Frederica. Ah, deciding to maybe stay back and go for the full health instead. That was match two. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. So Woody wins, has advanced on to the finals here. Wish for peace, getting that extra luck up. So now really not having to worry about that evasion. Titus just acting as a great uh, a great buffer in the back. Titus, look at that support go. All right, I have updated that. So Woody wins is 2-0 against Zalk. Woody is advanced onto the finals. And we're still waiting to see against Captain and Diamond for this finals right here. I mean, for the semifinals right here. Hmm. Unfortunately, we don't have any we don't have too many guts removals in the game as it stands Golden mag shot with the CT down even with the haste and the uh, With it with the haste and the the march of the stags with that agility up um, The CT down from the golden mag shot is 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 good as well It's only a little bit of CT, but it all makes a difference when you're uh, You're getting this much CT back per turn Still still getting those laps. I wonder what the accuracy like is. I wonder what the accuracy is like from Captain right now. Perfect evade is kicked in. So no sharp shots. There's the reflex coming into play. And it never, never, uh, yeah. You can never underestimate uh, reflex. So Halloween Leela right now is moving up potentially. Going to go for some heals are going to be going for some cures or some damage. What is what? What are we going to be seeing here? Um, there still should be no damage taken in terms of magic reflex. Again, reflex from both sides. They don't care. <laughs> Neither of these units want to get hits. Magic reflex, normal reflex. You know, re reflex is one of the most one of the most frustrating things to deal with in PvP. 
in my opinion. A little, a little too strong of a reaction ability. Sure, it's only like 15%. Still very, very strong. All right, Steed is going to be running up and starting to do some damage. Now we're going to go with that cheer to be able to get that extra attack and defense. The attack will be helping the Fred hit just a little bit harder, and the defense will help hopefully survive those 2B, those 2B attacks. So what are we going to be going for now? Are we going to be trying to focus on the Halloween Leela, or are we going to be focusing on the 2B as it stands right now? We're about at the halfway point. We are at 24 actions left out of the 50 that we receive at the start of the battle. Hmm. Jaden, how much AP? Jaden's got 13 AP. I don't know if he has enough ability. I don't know if he has enough ability uh, power to do anything as it stands with 13. I don't know if, let's see. Jaden, units. What is his lowest AP ability cost? 15. 15 is his lowest cost. So right now he's got no damage except for auto attacks. So is he going to try and use a TP move or is he going to try and shoot something? To try and build up. Don't want to be too clumped up because... Okay. Are we trying to do a preemptive cure? Are we doing a preemptive cure right now? I know we do have Whirling Vortex from 2B to BAM. Yeah. Spear Baker, almost enough to one shot. Ooh. Banishra, how much? Oh, Banish is 12. Banish is 12 AP, I lied. But I could have sworn that said Banishra. Either way, it's 2B against the world now. So we gotta see a reflex into... Yeah, he's got one. Yeah, so that was definitely a Banish. I thought it said Banish. I'm wrong, though, but that's okay. So he had enough for one more ability. Poison Arrow. Poison does not land. So we're going to back up, most likely. Either go for the Cure or go for the Auto Attack. Hmm. But right now, as it stands, Captain is in the Captain's seat. Pun intended. Um, captain is indeed in the captain's seat. So we will see if something can maybe get turned around here. We gotta hope for some godly reflexes. Because if he can take out... Yeah, shockwave. Yeah, because... If, if, if he decides to reflex, reflex, reflex... Um, but as it stands, Titus can just start running away into the corner. Uh, and then we'll most likely still win by HP at the end. So I think that we are going to be seeing a Game 3 here, folks. I think we're going to be seeing a Game 3 here. Ooh, with the vital, with the pushback as well. Are we just going to see him run? No, we're just going to run away. Oh, this, was a, this was a good match. This is another good match. It was hard. It was hard to make an advancement when you have so much speed coming out on Captain's side. And just the gunner is just... It, you try and get close. You try and get close and it's just... You, you can't quite make it. Six turns left. We're definitely going to get two turns potentially. Unless the Freddy is going to be able to walk up. And then put a cap. No, we're going to be going for turns and for distance instead. 2B is going to end her turn. Titus is going to end his turn. And that will have been the end. The breathing technique does heal quite a bit. I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, but Captain winning that one. It is 1-1. One, 1-1 one. One, one for the two of them. So as, as Captain has just told me um, in the Discord... Um, he has a little bit of an emergency, so he has to leave, uh, so he is going to forfeit the match. Um, so, again, well fought, Captain. Captain well fought that one. So, uh, in that situation, hopefully, Captain, everything's okay, and you're just, it's not that big of an emergency. Um, but if that's the situation, we're going to go 2-1 for Diamonds. Uh, and we're going to be able to move on to our finals right now.